got to be kind of devastating. You're a guy who well, saves fine. people's lives generally. Tonight at 12 News Exclusive, a Milwaukee firefighter involved in a fatal crash on opening day is released from jail. Investigative reporter Colleen Henry was at the jail when, he's, when, when he was released. She joins us now live. Colleen. Patrick, police arrested 31-year-old Joshua Larson after that crash on Monday. He's been here at the Milwaukee County Jail since then until this afternoon when the district attorney ordered his release. Would you like to say anything to these families? Not right now. We'll talk to the attorney. Now, Larson left the jail wearing his brewer's hat, carrying his brewer's jacket. He'd been at the brewer's opener on Monday. Police say he was driving south on 60th Street in West Dallas when he hit a minivan as it was turning left. Uber driver Yoruba Sly Lundazi of Milwaukee and his passenger Wendell Ken Johnson of Chicago died in the crash. Police say speed and alcohol appeared to be factors in this crash. The DA released Larson as investigators worked to determine if he was the cause of the crash. Larson's attorney he told 12 News yesterday that his client is devastated by what happened. This is a person that is a firefighter who is, you know, spent his entire adult life serving people, serving the public, and he comes from a good family. Now, the DA is awaiting information on blood alcohol tests as well as accident reconstruction before making a decision on whether or not there should be criminal charges in this case. Larson remains free while the investigation is pending. At the Milwaukee County Jail, Colleen Henry, WISN 12 News.